The colonoscopy, as we've stated many times, is the gold standard. It is the test for which all the others are compared, and if you have a positive test of any of the other screening modalities, then they say, now you need to have a colonoscopy, and we suggest to patients to just go ahead and start with the gold standard. Let me discuss a few of the other common tests. Sometimes you can go to the doctor and they can stick a finger in your rectum and take a little sample of stool to see if there's any hidden blood. This is often called a fecal occult blood test or FOBT or FIT test. And these tests will, will be positive if a tumor is already bleeding. Well, that usually means that the tumor is pretty good size and may already be a cancer. Studies have shown that, that doing these fecal occult blood tests or, or hemocult tests can reduce the death from colon cancer by as much as 10, 15, or 20 percent, but col colonoscopy reduces the death rate by 90 percent. So this test is clearly not as effective. There's also a test that was common 10 years ago called sigmoidoscopy. Sigmoidoscopy is a test where a doctor takes a flexible uh, instrument and inserts it in the rectum, very similar to a colonoscopy, only it only examines the very end of the colon. It only examines the rectum and the sigmoid. Whereas the colon is five feet long, the sigmoidoscope is only 18 inches long. And a sigmoidoscopy just examines the last 18 inches of the colon. And as a result, it only finds about half of the patients that have precancerous conditions. And so it's a test that, that gives about 50% of protection, and 50% protection is better than none, so having a sigmoidoscopy is certainly preferable to not having any test at all. But the gold standard, again, is colonoscopy, which can give you 90% protection. There's one other test we like to talk about called virtual colonoscopy that's gotten a lot of sizzle. It sounds really sexy to say, oh, I'm going to have a virtual colonoscopy, and it's done by computers. And the thing that patients like when they hear discussions about virtual colonoscopy is that you not have you don't not, do not have to be put to sleep and you just go in and you have a series of x-rays made and then you go home and they say that those x-rays are painless but it's not really painless because they insert a tube into your rectum and pump you full of air and that's very very uncomfortable but they do then make all these x-rays and then you go home and the radiologist or whoever the doctor is examining these images can reconstruct them with computers and they can actually perform what's like a colonoscopy while you're not even there. They're performing it on a model developed with three-dimensional graphics with computers. Of the polyps that are removed during a real colonoscopy, virtual colonoscopy misses 90% of them. Virtual colonoscopy can only find big polyps. They have to be at least half an inch in size for them to show up on virtual colonoscopy. And 90% of the polyps we remove are smaller than that because we want to remove the polyps before they become dangerous. Virtual colonoscopy tries to find the most dangerous polyps and hopefully remove them before they're cancerous or before the cancer has spread. But we prefer to remove all polyps and prevent the patient from ever getting cancer rather than giving the chance for the polyps to grow to a certain size where we'll get most of the cancers. I want to get them all.